It's also worthwhile keeping in mind that uh, you can use these text fields to actually select objects. So for example, if I wish to select the sphere, I can just type in sphere one and it will select it. Now, obviously I'm not gonna be able to remember the name of every object, so I can use things like wildcards. So for example, sphere star. It will now select all of the objects with sphere star or sphere and then anything following. That does mean if there's more than one sphere object in the scene, let's just duplicate this, so now we have sphere one and two, and I type in sphere star, it will now select both of them. It also indicates that you've selected, or how many objects you've selected by multi and then the number of objects selected. Not only will it display exactly here which object is selected, but it also allows you to select individual components or clusters. So if I, for example, select this point, I can see that's four two number point number 4205. If I actually go in here and hit in uh, 4205, oh, I have to be, of course, in point mode, right? It now has selected that. Um, furthermore, if I were in to go into, for example, a cluster, let's go into polygons and we have uh, maybe a cluster on the head, you'll see now it's now labeled, it has the label for that cluster and it's entered that so you know exactly which cluster it is you've selected.